Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and if you look off to the right, we have a bit of a green circuit crisis. It's looking really bad. We need to, <laughs> oh, poor, the poor blue circuits here. I was going to do some science, um, but yeah, things are looking pretty bad. Um, one of the things I would like to do is we need to expand power, I think. That was one of the things that we identified in the last episode as something we really need to do. This is not good. Not good at all. So I'm thinking we can possibly set up another... Uh, how much is here? 23 million. This is 20, 257 million. So this can be built over quite easily. People are probably horrified. Oh, no, KOS, don't do that. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. I'm going to do it anyway. It'll be fine. I promise. Uh, what I would like to do is actually extend this entire wall upward and build over these other things. We have 70, 61, 171 up here. Hmm. This really makes me feel like just going out into the world and exploring and extending our reach. Ah, but we have these down here. That's right. I forgot that I added these. Okay, so we have some, um, we just need to get these going. I think also it would be good for me to get banks of uh, accumulators somewhere. In fact, maybe these guys, this might be a good spot for those. Let's go and edit this for a minute. I think we need to go there personally because I don't think we have robo ports connected in this area. But we can certainly get them this way. Oh, no, don't, don't drop me. No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But yeah, we have, <laughs> we have issues. We definitely need to get purple science going shortly uh, because I really want a better exo or a better power suit. Did we get one last time? Yes, we did. Okay, so let's just take everything out of the old power suit and flip it, change it with a new one. All right, you have to close it and then open it again. If you have the right one engaged, of course. Right click. There we go. Now then, batteries. We have more batteries and personal robo ports. Good. And solar panels. Great. Okay. And we can store a bunch more stuff in here. Uh, we might even be able to get a couple of exoskeletons, possibly, maybe. But we might need more in the way of, uh, yeah. We need more power then for that. See if we can get one exoskeleton made. What do they require? Processing units and electric engines. We obviously have electric engines being made somewhere. Aha, here they are. I found them. Oh, great. There we go. We will make one exoskeleton. Actually, we should make two. Let's pick up a couple more. We'll make two. We'll go ahead and put these electric engines in these things because we don't need to carry them around at all. And then I should just have, you know what? I'm gonna auto trash the science because we will just get it recycled soon enough. Don't need to have this in here. It's just annoying to carry it around. Okay, there we go. Nuclear power is done. Um, discharge defense, combat robotics, follow robot count. I used to really love follower robots, but now it's kind of like, eh, meh. Stronger explosives. I guess we can get this just because we don't have much else to research until we get either purple or yellow science. Yeah, the struggle is real at the moment. Oh, wow. The struggle is real. Look at that electricity. Oh, <gasps> no. That must have been a biter defense thing. Holy fuzzy cats. Life is not going well here. Let's check on our... Um... So we should be getting plenty of stuff here. Are these just not functioning well? They have plenty of materials, but we just don't have enough producers, I think. So maybe I just want to extend this along the line further. Because it seems like we are having an issue with the um these guys all together here so let's just copy 
this um, thing here. Yay. Okay, like that. Yep, that's fine. Get rid of uh, this power pole. We don't need it. And place down the copy. There we go. Two. Let's do three of them because we clearly have are having issues with this thing here. Uh, I'm not quite sure why, but it's all right. Do these guys need... They do need copper. Okay, so the bots will get the rest of this from the world and we should be able to get these picked up and aligned where they need to go. But I think what I want to do is... I'm gonna, oh, I have a bunch of, of accumulators from when I requested them for the... Um, oh, yes, and I know there is, there have been people saying that I have issues with something here. The funny thing is... Let's just check this once again. It was the cracking, I believe. I still have issues with the cracking? I don't seem to. Unless it's this... Ah, it is that. It's right there. Okay, thank you for um, mentioning that, by the way. It's this little pipe here that's not letting the petroleum escape. So half of this has not been working. I'm just going to ghost print that there, and we should get continuity. We also need to get this one going. But having robots beats running over there yourself, I have to say. Okay, so this is working... I think yes good good uh somebody was asking me what the yellow squares blinking are it's these it's the belts if we look on the map here the blinky blinkies uh they are just these belts and splitters and miscellaneous bits and pieces that are um you know what i could actually remove those here's the upgrade planner because it's trying to upgrade them into blues so we don't actually need that we can take those off I don't really even look at the blinkies anymore because I'm kind of like, <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Uh, yeah, these are more blue blinky blinkies. Um, let's see. Are these the same? Probably. Yep. Yeah, if they would have been... See, it's hard for me to see the blinkies now. Okay. Blinky? Hello? Hello? Okay, is there anything else down here that needs to be organized? No. Aha, we're getting more solar panels down there, which is great. Anything else blinking? There's one here. Hello. All right, good. Okay, so that should hopefully, I don't know if it's annoying or what, If but people seem to be like worried about it. It's okay though, we're not going to worry about it too much. Uh, I do want to turn on... Okay, so they are on my personal robots right now. Let's collect all of these items. I'm just going to stand here and I'm going to turn on... Get my exoskeleton legs over here. Go ahead and put that there. This there. That one there. That's fine. I think I'm going to need a bunch more batteries as well. Okay. Uh, let's make three more, maybe? Hey, look at that. How handy. What do I need for these? Low-density structures and personal bat. They're called personal batteries? Oh, I think that's a, that's a name change. I don't know what they were called before, but I don't think they were called personal batteries. I think they were called something else. I'm just going to do this trick here of recycling robot power by mining them every time they come close. It's very handy. That way they don't drain our batteries where we actually don't have any batteries at the moment. So handcrafting is done. Shove those in. Well then. That was funky. I think they just destroyed a cliff. That was hilarious. Wow. Okay. Let's go with these. There we are. Nice. So apparently they just like, hey, let's get the explosives. These look fun. Uh-huh. Okay, so now I have no solar panels, so this is really not uh, great. Weapon shooting speed, do we need that? Eh, that should be okay, I guess. It'll affect some things that aren't good, I guess. Do we have any um, substations on us? 
Let me see. I don't know if we do or not. I'm, in, I'm walking toward the bring me stuff zone. No, apparently not. All right, guys, I need substations. Let's look at goddess mode here and see if they're going to bring me any. Do we have any? There they come. Okay, we, so we have a few. Oh, we have plenty. Great. All right, so what we're going to do is create a substation blueprint for added accumulators because that is most of the issue that we're seeing. Oh, wow. We ended up charging all the accumulators, but it is, yeah, getting late. So life is not good. Anyway, let's put these somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. Uh, actually, let's let's work in the light here. And we want to see where the next one goes. Like this, that's fine. Okay, so if we do them one to one, that should work. Let's go ahead and get our accumulators. And the entire point of this thing is just to fill this with accumulators. Just copy and paste, mostly. I think this is right, and we'll just trim any- oh, no, no, no. Control Z to get rid of that. Paste again, and are they all connected? They are. Now, if I put a thingy-majingy there, I think this is correct. Yes. Okay, this is perfect. So this is an accumulator bank. I'm going to go ahead and get a blueprint. Copy the whole thing. Shift-click it. Actually, I didn't want to shift-click it. I wanted to just make this. Say OK. Put it into our inventory so that we have this. In case we need to put it again out into the world. I'm gonna let the bots deal with the rest of those. And we're gonna place this blueprint a few times down here. Let's see. Because it's clear that we don't have enough accumulators. That is definite. Now then, we do need to place the robo port maybe around there ish. No, come on. Behave yourself, mouse. I told you to do it this way. Mm hmm. Grab our blueprint again and just shove these things down. Trees in the way. Not for long. That's what the answer to that question is. Oh, yes. The KOS is brutal with the trees because the trees are the true enemy of Factorio. We know this information. We have been told it by the devs. Okay, and then this is our mall. We probably can extend this here. I think it should be fine. And then this is such a nice cliff. I think I'm not going to remove it. Oh my gosh, what did KOS say? It's a nice cliff. No! Oh no! That cannot be... It's rough times. Okay, let's get a power pole there. And we also need a power pole. I wonder if we could walk through these things. I don't have squeak through at the moment because of uh, vanilla, but can we walk through accumulators? Oh no. All right. It's fine. I, I, those need to be nerfed. <laughs> the hitbox needs to be nerfed. It's real. The hitbox sadness is real. Okay, so can we make modules? Yes, we can. I'm very seriously considering making some form of modules. Oh, it looks like not many green circuits are making it this way. It's a little bit unfortunate, but I think we can solve some of this with faster belts here, like this. That might help with the output, or it might not. Looks like it's just not enough um, circuits coming down the line at all. So we need to fix that problem. We have this very acute shortage uh, of circuits. The This copper line obviously is being completely eaten here. Um, so I think we need to just make more copper. Do we have any available smelters for this? We have a few here. But the, pr the problem is we have no copper. We have completely tapped this patch and we don't have any within our 
thing. So I guess the answer is we actually do have to go out there and kill stuff. I was hoping that we could get to having... I really want Power Armor Mark II. What, what do we need to actually get there? Ah, hello thing. Power Armor... Let's see. This is behind... Oh, it's only behind two different techs. We just need uh, military and then this one, power armor. And that's be behind yellow tech. No purple needed. Hmm. That looks very tempting. Well then, I guess I know what to do next. <laughs> Let's do some yellow tech. Oh, uh, this is... It's going to be extremely slow. But it is going to be happening. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring up the window left side there and we're going to choose to have the yellow science oh i should just use a search there we go yellow tech here and just make this window a bit bigger there we go all right we need low density structures wow that's going to be hard with the amount of copper that we have which is not ideal uh we have plastic I think we can ignore these low density things because all we need is flying robot frames, low density structures, and blue circuits. We can make all of those things. We know how to make these things. It's, it's fine. It's all fine. We can ignore all of these things uh, and just have the items that we actually need. Wow. Okay. Something very funny went, went on here. Hello. Can you reset yourself thing? Oh, geez. Maybe... It's batteries that got ignored and it's like yo thing please this no i may need to reload the whole page all right let me just reload the page here Re refresh hello please there we go aha much better okay it's fine now um yeah so we're gonna make these things and it tells us how many we're, we want 60 items a minute because that's the rest how the rest of our science is running at the moment so um we're going to use the these numbers of factories at the moment i wonder why this one is ah because of the fluid intake that's why this one is 8.9 we're going to ignore the things that we're making on the bus like the blue chips and low density structures is going to be a new bus item wow we need 40 factories for that holy fuzzy cats that is not ideal I guess we could, if we change these to blue factories, what do we need then? We need 20, <laughs> still we need 26 factories. That's crazy. Um, but that's okay. We like to build big. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, all right, let's get going on this. I'm going to go ahead and just use those numbers and you can check them out on your own. At the moment, it is very dark in here. Did I not have my night vision things? I think I must have turned them off. Ah, that's right. Okay. Let's turn on the night vision goggles because it's a little bit better. I just saw them. Where the heck did they go? Hello. There they are. Okay. Uh, and they are not working because I have no batteries. <laughs> no battery power. But we have lights, sort of. We have ish lights. We have lights that will flicker in the moonlight. Look at these poor, poor inserters. I, I just want to grab chip but i can't uh stretch is real i got i got one oh thank god <laughs> it's just horrible oh the electricity is so not good but yeah and my night vision is working entertainingly enough because there's just enough to charge it Oh boy, just enough sunlight to charge it, I should specify. Anyway, so these things should get going, but uh, I think we have an issue because we haven't actually connected it to the real power network. So let's just add that there. The bots should be able to deliver this thing over, and I hope we're going to get enough. These guys are getting filled in a little bit, so that's good news. That's very good news. Anyway, let's start off building our yellow science array because we are getting some blue chips. This is good. We are doing well. Okay, uh, I think we'll build all the preliminary stuff and then get the blue chips or the um, 
get the science made across from purple science. We're going to build the preliminary stuff and then have these two guys in the middle sharing a belt as I typically do. And then we'll, um, we'll get the science delivered to the car stations. That's pretty exciting. Okay. So they, they changed the recipe for this, the devs did to make it more interesting. I think, um, so we have our processing units. That's no, no difficulty at all. Low density structures. Let's make that first because that is also required for other things. And I think it's a bus item that we definitely want to make. So we're going to make more than we are actually required to do. Uh, because of why am I, whoa, wow. I should have requested this like a million years ago. Um, but anyway, we can, we can still build with ghosts. It's not a problem. Low density structures. Let's find out what they need. Copper plate, like mountains of copper plates. Um, two steel plate and five plastic bars. They need 20 seconds to craft. That's a lot. So what we're going to do, I think, is just have a one, two, let's just leave three spaces because I like three spaces here. Beacons won't matter because there's two belts in between both structures, but three belts, three spaces in between is just enough to have some other lines going back and forth if we so desire to do that. Okay, let's put them here. What do we need here? Let's do two. I always like to do them in pairs. Uh, okay gonna need maybe I don't know if we actually need stack inserters I think we just need fast ones because it takes 20 seconds yes 20 seconds and then we just need these guys like this I think what we can do is this so we have nice power pull friendly assemblies here and we'll do this and have the output we could have actually regular inserters to output them onto the belt we'll just have this this way and I think that we can call an array. Great. Um, copy this. In fact, what I want to do also is just copy this and go like this. I think we'll change this to make it a little bit more sort of symmetrical thing here. Okay, that's looking good. Are people going to be annoyed? Yes, they will be annoyed. Let's cut and paste this one. Cut this and paste it here. That way all the power poles are aligned in a very rare KOS alignment thing. Because I think it's quite silly sometimes when people align stuff. <laughs> anyway, here we go. We have stuff. Um, these guys are going to make stuff. And we'll, we'll just extend this belt as much as possible. We may have to have extra belts of copper coming in. I anticipate this, but let's just see how it goes. That's part of the reason we have this space so we can add extra belts if we need to. There we go. Go. There we go. Nice. That's uh, what, what I would call a lotsa. How many machines is this? That's 52 machines. So for the array, we only needed 26, but we are going to need some for rocket stuff later. Now then, um, let's, let's see, this is going to be coppery copper. Go, very important to put the copper on the inside lane here. And then the outside has the steel and what is it, plastic? Yeah, okay. So uh, this is going to be very interesting but it'll be fine. Here's this one. One day this bus will be full, but not today. <laughs> not today. Okay, so um, let's see. Here we go. That'll be our stuff here. And then I need one of these guys to go and output priority to the right. So it fills up this lane. Whoa, that's most interesting. Rotate, please. That's the wrong way of rotation. Yeah. Um, 
these these are a little bit funny they rotate differently than other structures because of oh this is interesting we have some issues with upgrades here okay i'm just gonna just do this like this okay yellow to red um yellow to red and yellow to red okay so that doesn't do these mistake things there we go this is what we actually need why am i doing this goddess mode goddess mode engaged there we go okay everything else looks like it's already been upgraded that is nice okay what are we doing here what are you guys doing come on guys come on come on bots we don't have time for this come on let's go we have no battery charge life is worse i need i also need to get the fusion generator oh effect transmission is nice here it is portable fusion reactor need this like immediately you know what i think we're gonna get that immediately wait um do we need anything else here probably not let's go with this as our first yellow research i'm not sure what it's called now is it called yellow no it's called utility this is production i kind of like the name high tech because it was very high tech um but i guess it's used for different things now all right i am going to go ahead and add a light every now and again here even though the thing is complaining it's like yo we're flickering and do not add extra stuff on us right now yeah okay so we need to get a Thing like this like that I think no um, this way I think yeah because this one will go one, two excuse me ah okay we have no more splitters apparently there we go. All right. Nice. Okay. We need to have apparently splitters delivered to us. I don't know how we missed those. I wonder if they were just something that I didn't have ah here we go things are happening now this is looking really great so we'll do the same thing over here uh and then this one goes like this uh, and it goes like this uh, connects back over there these guys go that way just make sure this is in a robot zone here it is okay good very nice hello guys thank you i don't know why i call them guys it seems like a natural word but they might be gals i you never can tell they're bots kind of like i'm a bot you know i'm a bot there's no question about this i'm clearly a bot all right so we have stuff going on let's just tell my bots bots hello please place oh it's waiting for one from the network it's already been queued so therefore we have um we have to wait for that okay in any case we can start distributing these very slowly made uh thingy majingies uh do we have anything on the last line of this bus here i don't know looks like not okay that will be our line for the low density structures seems legit Oopsies. no no here we go i'm thinking about changing this and getting like some crazy paving instead well, not crazy but more like decorative paving uh it's actually quite nice let's see i want to get rid of this 
Take this this way and go downward. That's going to be life better over there. Can I place this guy over here? Yeah, I can. Okay. We'll move this here instead and just take that this way. Take this out. Thank you. Oh, we're missing one. We are missing some. Oh, wow. This is getting to be in an annoying spot. Interesting. We may have to shove some of these along. Because that was the ammo belt that we had for forever. Now we have lasers along the entire wall, which is going to keep us pretty safe for a while. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. Looks all right. Oopsies, these guys are not powered. That won't do. And these are getting pretty well organized. Really nice. Yep, looking good. We do need some radar coverage down here, I see. So we'll add that real quick. Just kind of like tidying up some minor little things here and there. Let's see. Ah, Lodgy Boss, who have been stranded. Always good to get them home. Now then, where is our radar? I know. Here it is. Aha, I have it. I usually have it in a different spot. Maybe that's why I'm not really seeing it all that often. Okay. Go ahead and place it there, and then I'll take power poles and take them back toward the factory. There we go. Nice. Looking absolutely great. We are getting stuff produced. Okay, so we have the first part of Utility Science, and I think that should do us for this episode. We'll get the rest going in the next one. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.